Stay wired. Post tech update today. We're going to revisit a top notch call from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show, that you absolutely need to hear. Is America's biggest grocery retailer about to begin charging you based on your income? I'm Kim Commando for Dell. For today's best deals on computer and office hardware, visit dell.com slash deals. Kroger is the nation's biggest grocery chain. It owns Fry's, Ralph's, Harris Teeter, Pick and Save, and others. And it wants to buy Albertsons for $26 billion. Kroger has begun what it calls dynamic pricing strategy. When demand is up, like turkeys at Thanksgiving, turkey prices may go up. The chain is exploring ways to target prices based on an individual's so-called consumer profile. It's collaborating with the artificial intelligence company, Intelligence Node. Some customers may be charged more based on their shopping habits and ability to pay. For instance, customers who buy expensive luxury items like better cuts of steak or more expensive wines may pay more for all their items simply because they can. If you look like you make more money, should you be forced to pay more? Join a half a million folks who get my free newsletter at GetKin. Hey, have you heard about The Current? It's this amazing free tech newsletter that keeps you in the loop about everything. AI, making money, and insider tips to get ahead at work and life. Everything is tech now. I can't afford to fall behind, and neither can you. In just five minutes a day, that's it. The Current makes it so easy to stay ahead without feeling overwhelmed. Join half a million people at getthecurrent.com. It's free. Don't be left behind. That's getthecurrent.com. Sign up now. GetTheCurrent.com. Okay, coming up next, a call that you're definitely going to want to hear because I bet you learned something new. Uh, Tim in Naperville, Illinois. Hi there, Tim. Hi, Kim. How are you? Great. How can I help you today, my man? Um, I have a question regarding some smishing text messages that I was getting on my Android Pixel 7 phone. Um, they were the classic USPS, you know, we have a package for you. Click here. Give us all your information of course (laughs) and i'm not i'm a listener so i'm not foolish enough to fall for that but what was annoying to me was getting the just the notify every day because i try to limit how many notifies i get on my phone yeah for sure the message would go to my spam folder the number would be blocked but every day i'd get a call from a different number in the same country code which happened to be Thailand. I think it was country code 63. So what I wanted to do to put an end to this game of whack-a-mole that I was playing with all the different numbers was block the entire country code. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't figure out a way to do that on the Android messages app. Um, Well, inside the Android message map is that you can go into settings. Uh, And then there's spam protection. Uh, then you can just follow the prompts to enable spam. I'm not sure if they let you block an entire country. For that, you you may need uh, in order to get like a third party app like uh, like Call Blocker or Hiya H I Y A. But I'm really surprised okay. that this is coming in on the Pixel Seven because boy, I'll tell you, they normally do a bang up job. Uh, they, they correctly identify them as spam, mm-hmm. and they do go to my spam folder. But because it was a different number every day, I would get a notify every day. And it's just like a, well, I limit my notifies. I, I want, you know, to be notified for legitimate things that I need to pay attention to. But in this case, I trust the Android Messages app. They put them in the spam folder. I don't even want to know about those. <laughs> yeah, know? I know. It's... Yeah, I know. I mean, you could also set up do not disturb mode and this way it only allows messages from your contacts. Okay. Um, and in that way it would prevent notifications from unknown numbers. So you wouldn't be so annoyed all the time. But yeah, I mean, you know, you think like there would be a way for us to just like make this garbage stop already. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you how many political messages I'm getting every day. And it's, it's oh. so annoying. I get those too. I know. <laughs> they are annoying. It's like, oh, you know, so and so is this, so and so is this. I'm for this. I'm for that. I'm not for this. I'm not. I'm like, oh, geez, Louise. You know, but okay. you know, I guess that. Well, we are in election season, so there's really probably, hopefully, that'll go away after November. But again, in the Android app, they do a really good job. That's why I'm surprised. Uh, so again, go to messages, go to settings, and spam protection. Just follow the the prompts. And if you can't block it by the country, then Hiya H I Y A or take a look at Call Blocker. And Tim, thank you for your call today.
You are the best for tuning in. Now, if you're curious about something, pop over to commando.com and click email, Kim. I read every single email like it's a secret code to unlock some hidden tech treasure. And you can catch the tech wave. How? Just get my free daily newsletter. Head over to getkim.com. Once again, that's getkim.com.